In this tutorial, I will be teaching you surfaces that you probably got that from the title. Now, if you don't know what surfaces is, it is a very handy tool. Um, well, let's just say that a lot of the professional people in GameMaker, like me, like to use it a lot. Um, what it, the basic idea of surfaces is, is it's changing the sprite. So instead of creating a bunch of objects, you just change the sprite, which um, is much way faster. So if you had to do it with objects, it'd be just ten times harder. Anyway, so here's just a small example of what all surfaces can do. So as you can see, I'm moving here. Um, you can probably see it pretty well. It might be a little chunky for you though. Um, is all this tracks that it's making? Now, if you were gonna do this with objects, making an object for each track you would have to have billions of objects and it would quickly slow down your game so what I'm actually doing is I'm just simply drawing it on to the background sprite so that's one surface okay so I have two ways of shooting with this little tank dude okay I can click normally and it just shoots a little bolt there or I can um, right click and then it shoots a little grenade which lands and explodes and then it creates this little explosion thingy here now that's just a bunch of sprites but yeah, so then once again, this is drawing it right on. So instead of creating an object for that little um, explosion thing there, it's just simply drawing it right on to the surface, meaning that it doesn't slow it down at all. In fact, it's the exact same speed as it was before because it's just changing the sprite around a little bit. Now, this big green thing here that I'm sure you're wondering out is um, destructible terrain. Now, you might have heard of that. It's a common thing that a lot of people want to be able to use, but not many people can do an actual good one. There's a way to do it with objects, but not only does it suck, but it really slows your game down because you use a whole bunch of objects, and then you keep, if you get destroyed, then you keep creating smaller and smaller ones. So let's say I shoot this one. There we go. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing a transparent, um, you know, I'm just drawing a circle here, and then it's the transparent color of this um, sprite. So yeah, and then also collisions still work. So let's say I was just uh, gonna clear a little area here. I can go right in it, and it'll still collision. There we go. Pretty nice. And then I can even throw a grenade into the middle of it, and it'll create a little hole there. So yeah, I can destroy a bunch of it, and then it'll it'll be pretty perfect. So once again, if you try to do this without surfaces, not only will it be slow, but it'll be very crappy. So please don't try to do that. And now surfaces you do need Pro to use, unfortunately. So if you don't want to use Pro, if you don't have Pro, then yeah, you're gonna have to go with the slow crappy way. So I definitely suggest that you get Pro. Here we go. So yeah, I guess I should show you how it works, because there's only a few simple codes to um, get the service to work. There are some other codes to make this um, stuff work. Anyway, so let's see, this tank object, is the tank that you saw right so this is the one that'll be drawing the main background surface so there's two surfaces that I employed in this one you can use as many as you want okay so surface equals surface create so you have to do the size if you try to draw anything outside of that size then it won't work at all so yeah it just won't draw so anyway so now surface set target sir or the variable that you'd used for surface create and then draw background or whatever you want to draw into the surface so in this case I did draw background tile floor text that way it'll draw so now I'm drawing just so that makes the black background text um, yeah just draw around it so there we go now we have the background for our surface so yeah that's all you want to do if you ever want to add anything then you just go surface at target and then you draw whatever you want wherever you want as long as it's inside of that 800 by 600 or whatever number you stick here and then yeah and then it'll draw it and it'll just stick it right onto the surface now um okay for this going forward here's just some codes to make it move right okay so i want to let's say draw that um track right so surface set target sir and then draw sprite external sled or that little sprite okay i should probably show you the sprite that i used you can of course download this in this description all the downloads in any of my tutorials are always in the description and if the download links don't work, uh, just uh, tell me about it. Okay, so here we go. 
just a little track, so kind of just boring stuff. But once you repeat it a lot and draw a lot of it, then it works pretty nicely, which you could not do with objects. Anyway, so not only is it a bit alpha, so it's not totally clear, and then it's facing my direction and everything. So yeah, it works pretty nicely. So yeah, that's how I do the sled. Okay. So now draw. Well, you're going to want to draw the surface. And you're going to want to do that before you draw anything after that. And also, um, you want the depth to be 100. Otherwise, it's going to draw it like over top of some things. So yeah, you're definitely going to have to worry about that depth, just like a sprite. So then you're just drawing it. Just like a sprite. You can also get um, your sprite from a surface. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Actually, we'll talk about that right about now. Um, so here we go. Here's for the destructible terrain, which you can also do with, you know, a little guy walking across the ground. It works pretty nicely, too. Anyway, so surface uh, equals surface create, so 512 by 512. That's um, about the size of my um, terrain sprite. This is all I did for that. And as you can see, the black is the um, transparent part. So, yeah, it'll just uh, be transparent. So surface that target, and then I'm just drawing that sprite. There you go. And then sprite equals sprite create from surface, and then it does a bunch of stuff here. Oh, let me see. I D X Y width height transparent smooth preload X. Oh no, wait. Yeah. Anyway. And then sprite index equals S P R. There we go. That's how to get um, a sprite from the surface. That'll mean that I, then I can employ collisions. Then, if I want to destroy it, say, let's say I collision with that, then I create an explode. I add a little explosion effect and destroy other. And then, I surface the target again and draw a set color black. So remember, that's the transparent color. And then I draw a circle um, where I want it to be. And then the size, right? And there we have it. And then surface reset target. I have to add that after. And then once again, uh, oh yeah. I'm setting this sprite, except for if you do it more than once, then you have to do sprite delete first. You have to delete the first sprite, otherwise you might have some problems. Okay, then you do the exact same thing again. And there we go. That's how you do the destructible terrain. And same thing with this then. So yeah, that is how Surfaces works. It's very easy, and it makes it your game very high quality, very fast, and people will love it. And uh, then you're very pro. Anyway, so yeah, let's have one more look at it. Get fiddle lever start. So yeah, it's a pretty fast loading, pretty fast playing. Yeah. So here we go. Little tank. You can randomly shoot at my terrain. Perfect. There we go. So there you have it. This is my been my ninth um, 2D tutorial, and I hope you have enjoyed it. Goodbye.